Well, welcome to another new episode of The More You Know. I'm your host, Gary Moore, and with me today... The First Gentleman, Tony Jr. There you go. I'm, I changed the name of the show to The More You Know, because that was originally what I wanted, and I just changed it because of lack of originality and whatnot, but I like More You Know, so mm-hmm. we changed it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we're reviewing Civil War. I just saw it, he just saw it, we saw it, yeah. and a lot of other people saw it. 181 million a weekend opening gross, which is great. Not yeah. the best, but it's great. That's, the and theater then, was loaded. And I think it's going to grow. It's not going to do the 80% <laughs> drop-off like some movies do. <laughs> yeah, it's going to grow. Yeah. I think, uh, to me, this was a perfect comic book movie. It had humor, it had... Uh, a serious situation, uh, the best incarnation of Spider-Man I've ever seen. Yes, uh, we, we have to get to that. Yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Here, here's a kicker because some some people are already calling out to me. They're already calling out to me, and in my case, in my case, it doesn't apply to me. I, I take it you read Civil War. Yes. You 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 read Civil War. Yes. I I know of it. I don't know all the. I know Iron Man, Captain America fight. Yeah. Big fight. It is a Civil War. The storyline is reasonably close. It's not perfect. Right. But it's reasonably close. See, I'm not one of these people that it's got to be just like comic book. Girls. I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> I don't I don't buy into that. I'm like, why not down? Why change the uh, storyline if it's not gonna adapt? I don't, I don't have a problem with them changing things or doing anything differently or whatnot. Just enjoy the movie. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. I, for two and a half hours, I sit there like a little kid mm-hmm. and just watch the movie. Black Panther was awesome. Mm-hmm. Ant-Man was awesome. Yeah. Hawkeye. I yeah. mean, you know, just different characters was Awesome to see doing their things live action. I I watched the movie. Yeah, I liked it, yeah. but I didn't love it to death. Right. As now here one okay there there are many things I like to discuss. Okay, one thing first off, most people are going to say most people are probably going to say no way that Civil War is better than Batman vs Superman. I say they're at the same level because like like Batman vs Supes. The story is very long, and once again, this is this is the problem Batman vs. Supes had. They had to bring all these characters mm-hmm. into a storyline, make them all reasonable, all the characters, all stories, and get in just right, and get to the big fight that we're all wanting to see. Right. Almost like almost like the Mayweather Pacquiao fight. You <laughs> there was more build up than the fight, but you got to deliver. Yeah. But uh, I felt that they were good movies, not masterpieces, but they were actually on the same level. That's how I felt. Yeah. I, I there's a few. Criticism I have about uh, uh, Superman vs. Batman, mostly just throwing a couple of jokes. That's that's <laughs> really really my biggest contingent with the movie was like throwing a couple of laughs, yeah. like, like, chuckles. <laughs> Civil War, yeah, Civil War, Marvel, Marvel. For me, they have the advantage of hindsight. Marvel has learned from all the mistakes that DC's made because there was the learning curve. Yeah, yeah. Civil War is funnier because you know more characters, more sense of humor. They, they, that's something they got right. Right. They got it right. I, 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 that, I'm going back to this, uh, Spider-Man. His <laughs> quips and yeah. was perfect. Dead yeah. on Spider-Man. Yeah. Spider, the return, it's basically Civil War. No, it's not Civil War. It's the return of Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> Spider-Man, I, I have to admit, this something they got almost dead on. Yeah. The return of Spider-Man. Yeah. Sony would be smart to give back. <laughs> the rights to Marvel. No, I wasn't making money. Then, then, then they'll consider. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I was reading that they made a deal where Sony's going to make the movie and Marvel's <laughs> going to produce it. So maybe we can get to around the where we're seeing a really good uh, Spider-Man movie, which yeah. they've already come up with the title for the next one. It's what called, was that? It's called Homecoming. Oh, Civil War. The fact that see. For 
for me, Civil War, it's called Captain America Civil War, everyone's called Civil War, I am personally called Civil War all the time now. Not the American Civil War, not the other Civil War. Yeah. Civil War. Yeah. That we know what it means, everyone knows what it means now. Oh, yeah. I, I have to quote Don Cheadle. They said, are they going to make an Iron Man 4? And Don Cheadle said, as soon as they back a truck of money up to Robert Jr. Dollar Jr.'s house, then they're going to make it. And Spider-Man, same thing. You just write a check that looks like a telephone number, and then we're going to see something. So I think I think uh, Robert Downey Jr. is going to make an appearance in the next Spider-Man yeah, movie. Well, show, yeah. Even funny thing, even at the end of Civil War, there's a Spider-Man scene, yep. just like mix and matching all the storylines. Yep. But here, Spidey, they when Tobey Maguire first played Spider-Man, he was 27. Yeah. But he looked. The age. Yeah. And uh, Andrew Garfield was in his 20s. Tom Holland's 19. Tom Holland, if he's any younger, he's going to, what? <laughs> yeah. He's going to be reading comic books. He's going to be playing video games. He's going to neglect. I mean. I mean, he was perfect, mm -hmm. Peter Parker. And, I mean, he was, you could see the nerdy side of him. Yeah. And that's what I think the Andrew Garfield movies were lacking. Where it's the fact that he was not a young like you know he wasn't a nerd like yeah, he, he was Andrew Garfield was more badass right <laughs> right too cool he was more of a more of a you know he, he I remember he was skate or skateboarding yeah. in the hallway and the teacher showed him that too that's so unlike Peter Parker that mm -hmm. I mean Peter Parker is a nerd mm -hmm. straight up computer nerd and science nerd and all that. so I would have I found it very uncharacteristic of him to uh, do something like that in a movie. Yeah. So. I, I thought it was a clever twist because naturally when you do certain things, you, even if the character has the archetype, you have to you have to adjust it. Like Daniel Craig's Bond. Daniel Craig plays his Bond as a thug, a few brain cells smarter than the average thug. Right. As opposed to a sophisticated, which was a great reinvention. But here, they've gone back to nerd yeah he's the, he's the nerd and he and he's become spider-man he's been spider-man for six months apparently he yeah just not he, even a year he, yeah he, he's the new spider-man he's learning he's making up as he goes iron man is now his obi-wan is or or agent k from men in black he's his sponsor he's recruited him right so yeah naturally Spider-Man, he doesn't have to answer Nick Fury. He has to answer Stark. So right. Stark is probably might be in the Spider-Man movie. Oh, definitely gonna. Be. I I wouldn't have it any other way if I was one of the filmmakers, which I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, they're probably see Anthony and Joe Russo. I I, I respectfully I, I I see them. They're fanboys themselves. Even mm -hmm. even that they admit they admit the the big battle. Is that we were comic book fans? We thought, what would happen to so and so fights? What would happen to yeah. so and so fights? And this is kind of the payoff. So. Yeah, it really kind of is. I I enjoyed it. I I there was very little in that movie that I was sitting there going, I don't like that. I, I felt it kind of dragged at a certain point, but it. I can see I can see that, but honestly, um, you you loved it. Yeah, you're I, buying it on site. Uh, I was yeah, oh God yes, <laughs> of course I am. I mean even. Ant-Man, which was not a character that I was that familiar with yeah. until the movie came out, which, of course, the movie came out, and he blew up just yeah. like he... Yeah. Know. Marvel, Marvel, they, they do it right. They they get their characters just right and make, and make them work. I, I was familiar with Ant-Man. I wasn't didn't know it ironclad, but I, I knew enough. Right. I was when the, when the movie came out, I was expecting giant man. Right. <laughs> I was expecting that. Well, now we get it. Yeah, so we, we, it. we got it. We got it pretty good. Yeah, yeah we that. got it. That was one of the highlights. The audience was out laughing. Oh, that yeah. Was a, that was a crowd-pleasing, well-played moment. You yeah. Know? If, if you know it, you were waiting. I, I know. I, I wasn't kind of expecting it, but I personally, as a comic fan, I was kind of waiting for it. They gave it to us. That's kind of what I wanted to see. Much like Iceman in X-Men Last Stand. We want to see him turn to ice. It took three movies but it finally happened right so giant man they did it thank you well done now. yeah uh, I, uh they they know what they're doing at marvel yeah. they they kind of yeah, yeah they're kind of they kind of got a, a system down where <laughs> how this is going to work and they've planned out their system. Yeah. there was uh, a scene in it uh, i want to say in 
the first Captain America movie, right. where you see one of the scientists and his face is on blown up on the, on the mirror. Well, in part two, he is a computer, and that's how you see is his face. Like, did they plan that, or is that just yeah, something? Yeah, yeah. Well, did, something that they worked into the second yeah. movie or yeah, something? The fact, the fact that this they all planned, coordinated, calculated. Well, one thing, something, and something else that did impress me about Civil War: young Robert Downey Jr., young Tony oh Stark. Oh my God, that was amazing! They, uh, when, whenever we've seen. The de aging. Some people like to call it de aging. Right. It always looked a little bit off computer ish. Now, no. finally, that dead on, they got that right. The right. De aging. When you see that, that it, most people in the audience were, everybody was impressed. That was like, whoa, that was impressive. Because, like, he's very clever. You see him sit on the couch, he yanks off the, the shirt, and he stands up, and he's like, okay, now I, it's taken a while, and who knows what's going to happen down the road, but. De, the de aging. Mm -hmm. If that's, I mean, I, I, I got, I can't wait for the Blu-ray special edition to show how they did that. I, I think that's good old-fashioned motion capture and like Robert Downey Jr. He he's been acting for years. Like they probably went back to his earliest work, much like Brad Pitt on Benjamin Button. They went back to his earliest stuff and digitized it on there, but it looks seamless. Yeah, it was excellent. Well, I mean, I'm, 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 that's not what I wonder if he played that character uh, as himself, <laughs> and then um, they began. Yeah, they, they might, they might have. See, Robert Downey Jr. is fit, but he, but that was that was like nineteen eighties. Yeah, it was, <laughs> he was so skinny. Yeah, yeah he's a kid. He yeah. was young as Spider Man, and he's a kid. You know, yeah, so. it's true. He, they kind of got a kid to play that part yeah. or something. Yeah, that's why I wanted to watch the because how I would do it would film him, because mm -hmm. so I can get his. And then de aging and yeah. all that stuff in a computer. That's how yeah. I would do it. But, but that's, they, they got that. Yeah. Let's, okay. Something else. Black Panther. Mm -hmm. Not not a ma it's not called it's not called Black Panther. It's called Captain America. Right. But Black Panther was stole in. that movie. I, I he stole it, but he brought it in well played. Ooh. Chadwick Boseman. I this something I was waiting for. How Wakandan or African accented is this American dude gonna feel? Is gonna be? Yeah, that's good. He that's he good. did a fantastic job. I was I was like I'm ready for a Black Panther movie right now. Yeah, I, I feel I'm wondering how I'm wondering how, how Ryan Coogler is gonna do, write it, direct it, and all that. But Black Panther effective execution. They got the look right, the the, the actor right. I uh, I don't know. He he moved like a cat, you know, like that scene where they're uh, the in tunnel the, chase. the tunnel chase. Oh, I was yeah. sitting there just like, oh my god, this is this is exactly what I wanted to see, you know, just yeah. You know. But Black Panther is something that they got right. Mm -hmm. They didn't overdo it. I say so many characters, but some once again, Black Panther, they got it right. Oh, yeah. It's on a revenge quest, but so why that revenge always works in the silver screen. Yeah. So they got Black Panther right. Something else they got right. So. Oh yeah, definitely. I, I was well. I mean, it's cool. to be honest, they did all the characterizations mm -hmm. correctly. Right. But he stood up because he's so new. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. if he had been a different movie or so, if it had been like a movie of his, yeah, we might have a different opinion. But it was so good to see a fresh new comic character. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was just and it, not in a standalone kind of way too. Yeah. He was part of the yeah. team. Yeah, they they say it, and I concur because that's the plan. That in the in, uh, Black Panther, he's a third party. He's not with Stark. He's not with Captain. He's 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 on a revenge quest. And yeah. If, if we're fighting together, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Right. I'm, yeah. I'm after him. You know. That's, yeah. That was uh, really funny. Yeah. He sided with. He ended up siding with Captain America, but it, right at first it was with Tony. Yeah. He wanted, even there, he just he just wants his pound of flesh. He wants this payback. Right. So that's something that works. They got that right. They went for that. They got it right. Mm hmm. Now, uh, one, a very clever move. One, I think my favorite, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is very clever. The bad commando throws a grenade. Captain America can't get rid of it. Takes the shield like a stovetop. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that was awesome. <laughs> that, was, yeah, that was a gem. That's the thing about this movie was that there was so many uh, points that, that were like, oh my god, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was sitting there just like a little kid, like, 
<laughs> but the, the shield, the stove top, that was a gem. That's yep. clean. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I did like Black Panther's claws in the, Yeah, something, something that was, to do, yeah. Uh, uh, vibranium on vibranium yeah. kind of thing. It was and amazing. It, 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 so it scratched it and it scratched the whole movie. Once he scratched it, it stuck like that. Oh, yeah. The whole movie. The whole movie. Yeah, the whole movie. Yeah, but something I, w I would like to see more, but I guess that's what the standalone is for. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, like I said, his uh, movie can't come soon enough. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, they showed the trailer for Doctor Str uh, Dark Strange. Yeah. Which I was excited for to begin with, but now yeah. I'm even more like, oh my god, this is going to be awesome. Doctor Strange, now I'm wondering, I'm thinking to myself, so um, um, I, under I understand you're going to reveal it anyway, but uh, where's Dormammu? I'm sorry, I want to see this guy with his head on fire. That's not Ghost Rider, it's Dormammu. Come on, let's see it. But yeah. we, we, we might see uh, it. Let's, you know, let's know, see, yeah. I, for me, no, I can't, I trail, I understand it's trail, I don't know, let's see it. Yeah, I'm it, it, not looks, there. it looks like Inception building bending, but yeah. it, but oh. but Benedict Cumberbatch. I feel once again he's the right actor for Doctor Strange. That I do agree with. Oh yeah. So hopefully we're gonna see it's gonna be completely. We it has to be as weird as Deadpool was profane and outrageous. You know. Right. When much one thing a Captain America that does get credit is sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy sense of humor is very silly and eighty ish. Uh, right. Deadpool is profane and fourth wall breaking. Captain America is serious, right. so it has to be serious. You no, know, every you have to change the tone. Even if all the other characters are on, you've got to change the tone to match it. Right. I think I honestly think that they're with each movie they are fitting mm -hmm. their uh, their standard. You know their their. Uh, Moods and stuff like that are there for Captain America. It's very spy oriented, very yeah. espionage. With uh, uh, anyone else, like Daredevil, is very dark and gritty, just like the comic was. Yeah. Just like you know, I, I think they that for me they had to keep some of the espionage sensibilities from Winter Soldier because that's what it worked so well. And mm -hmm. this this isn't this isn't the Winter Soldier this isn't the second movie, but right. they still kind of you kind of like uh, you reference that you kind of have the still sensibility of that spy versus spy, right? Government agencies this and that. They, I think they kind of kept it intentionally. It, it still plays on that. It's not as prevalent. It's not like a government conspiracy, but it is. There, right. Say. Yeah, I totally. Uh, I think it's. I mean, it's. There's nothing about this movie that I was just sitting here like. I don't like that my part. I don't like the part. I I was sitting there like. It did what exactly what I wanted to do. Two and a half hours of being ten years old again. Mm -hmm. I mean, even my uh, steps future stepson. Was sitting there and he was like, "That was so cool," and I was like, "I know, right?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. One one thing that I do, one thing I do want to talk about. Okay. You, you love Civil War. I I liked it. I loved it to death. Yeah. Civil War co calls out some certain things. So one thing is I appreciate them calling it out. First off, as some people are saying, this is a conversation that we need to have, and we do need to have. It. And okay. this is just a movie. Some people, it's just a movie. But even then. I, we, we, we before I am on the side of Team Stark because it, it, superheroes. It, it, we we discussed this before on Batman vs Superman. When it comes to superheroes and superheroes, soldiers, secret agents, cops, sometimes you you can't be nice and neat and finesse and careful on certain things. Right. But for me, you have to have accountability for your actions. Right. You have. There's no. There is no. There is not. There is not even a quarter. Not even the possibility. Captain America, he should have signed that paper in the time it takes me to finish this sentence. <laughs> you, you, because you, you want a cop's trying to catch a bad guy. Right. Okay, you got to do your job. He's trying, to, he's trying to do a job. Now, but if they flatten your car, uh, I'm sorry, I got to get to work. Yeah. I, well, I mean, Tony did have a new uh, fund set aside for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but even then, it's a it's a drop in the bucket because you you think to yourself, okay, you see Captain America. I think it was one scene he gets Captain America. He gets thrown around a lot. He can shake it off. Right. Him. 
you get okay. You, you someone's still doing the job. They flatten your car. Now, I understand you got a job. You flat my car. Now, how am I going to get to work? How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to do? I don't want an Uber driver. Yeah, that's true. Don't want to go. Or worse, you might have some drunk girl, more trouble than she's worth, <laughs> messing True. things up. And right on that, I want to drive myself. Who's going to pay for this? Who's going to fix all this? It, you, you, have, you have to be accountable for your actions and, and con act consequences and repercussions. <laughs> and you have to. I mean, I mean, for I see a cat and he should have signed up from the get-go. He should have been the first to sign up. So yeah, but then there wouldn't be a movie. Yeah, but, you know, I know, but there, yeah. Without conflict, there is no drama. But even then, that's an issue that has to be addressed. Yeah, but I mean, you know, in the super superhero world, you know, Batman can't function unless yeah, nobody yeah. knows who he is, yeah. and that's kind of the attitude that I have. Is like, you know, at some point, I mean, now. The Avengers, they're part yeah. of the government. They yeah. are but, sanctioned yeah. by the S.H.I.E.L.D., which is a part the of... The S.H.I.E.L.D. went down the tube, so... Right. Exactly. And the United Nations said, okay, we got to police the police. Yes. And yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of one of those things of, like, well... Uh, in, in this case, you no, know, you have to. Because, uh, going back to Batman, the Dark Knight, I love, everyone loves the Dark Knight. Mm -hmm. when the, 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 the big chase sequence where Batman's in, on the bat pod. Mm -hmm. He has to get to ca trying to catch up. He uses the bat pod, blows up a bunch of cars. Now, yeah. who's going to pay for all that? Who's going to fix that? I, I know not. you want to save Harvey Dent. You just crashed my car. Or you smashed off the mirror when you drive past it. Who's I would, have, I would that? imagine that Bruce Wayne would pay yeah. for that. Because he's a billionaire. Yeah, he's a bit But even then... Yeah. Who's gonna pay me? Who's gonna fix that? I mean, yeah, but but it's a movie. It's just a movie. It's just, a movie. it's just a movie. And without conflict, there is no drama. But these still, I mean, you you have you have to consider this. I mean, because in the real, even even in Batman versus Soups, when Soups flies to the government building, you have, you have to answer. You you have to answer all this. You got to have this fixed. I mean, who's gonna fix this? And like the the big the movie's big conundrum occurs early on. Right. I don't hate to give too many spoilers, but the movie's big conundrum happens early on, right. where they're trying to trying to save the day, a bunch of people get killed accidentally. Right. It's an accident. Right. It's an accident. It's we all we all, accident. we all yeah, we, have to, we all know that. But uh, and, Scott, and I'm sorry, Captain America. I know he's brave. Uh, do you speak the language? Are you gonna? I, I always. I, this is real life. Are you gonna walk in and explain to all those people's families to their faces what happened? We blew up your mommy and daddy because we blew up your brother because uh, you. I know you're strong and brave. Let's see you do that. Well, that, that comes into the fact that they showed that uh, lady coming up to uh, yeah Tony and yeah. saying you killed my yeah. in Sharkovi or whatever. yeah Sharkovi yeah you kill yeah. Alfred Wood yeah a very very good cameo. I'm like who is this yeah yeah. This this is him. This, yeah. is, this is what he looked like. Which that scene reminded me of the scene from Jaws. With the, yes, the, yeah. The I think it's probably probably the inspiration. Right? Very vague inspiration. Yeah. Because I was sitting there going, it's Mrs. Kenner. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and she could have slapped him. What's, what is he gonna do? Put yeah. on his armor hand to stop it. You can't stop a bullet. Can stop a slap. You know. And it's true because yeah, you have. You mean. And even then, Tony Stark created Ultron. He, he, yeah. he created Ultron, and Ultron went on a rampage, and all, and they didn't save everybody, so you're kind of accountable for all this. You yeah. Know? I mean, I, I see both sides of the yeah. argument. I'm, that's what I'm doing. Is oh, yeah, I do. I, I, and for me, for me it, much like seeing both sides, like seeing both sides, I agree. Part of me says, I don't want to do that. I don't want to kowtow. Right, I don't right. want to do it. And probably says it. See, for another thing, going off topic, but even then, it, for me, it's a great, it's a great conversation. Is deliverance, deliverance. I was not thunderstruck by deliverance, but I did like it. Yeah. Because you're you're hanging out with your friends. That's everybody on earth. Mm -hmm. You're hanging out with your friends. You get attacked by some wackos, which does happen. Yeah. Naturally, now, if I was the guy who got attacked, I wouldn't be so forthcoming to go home and explain to everybody what happened because that's the worst of the worst. If I was, like, trying to save you, you know, I'm, I'm not being a hero, but you, you try to protect yourself. So you have, and naturally, where's the law, Drew? Where's yeah. the law? Yeah. You, have, you have to understand, do, do you want, I mean, I know, part of me says, Bury them, just get out of here, yeah. sweep, sweep the guilt under the rug. Yeah. But part of me said, I want to tell the truth. Tell the truth and shame the devil. Yeah. I want to do the right thing. 
So, so you have to understand that, yeah, sometimes you have to consider things and where, where you stand. If you're a billionaire, it doesn't affect you like it affects a regular guy. True. True. So. I mean, it's just what I'm saying. I'm like, I can see both sides yeah, of the I, argument. I see both of them, but I see one more than I see the other. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, you said Tony Stark. Yeah. And, and the thing about it is, this movie really makes you question what is right and what wrong. Right. And that's that's the thing. What would you do if right. it was in your hands kind of oh, thing? Yeah. And that's what makes this movie so good is that you do have a moment where you're like, Team Cat, I'm on yeah. Team Cap's side. But then towards the end of the movie, you're like, well, Tony was right the whole fucking time. Uh, I, I know. I, I mean, now I, 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 for me, I felt I was, I wasn't sure, and then I was, and then I, I wasn't entirely sure, but I was leaning that way. Not to say that I'm Mr. Right all the time, that's, but I was right, and I, and, and watch this one, I think a lot of people will agree. Yeah, so. and by that rationale, you also kind of agree with Cap, Cap because they find out the conspiracy right. a little was, sooner than yeah. Tony does. Yeah. So you're kind of like, well, shit. I, uh, yeah, it was, it was. And then another another moral conundrum, another moral conundrum that that has to be addressed is the Winter Soldier mm -hmm. was in you know ironically the Winter Soldier was framed was framed for a lot of what happened. He right, was, it's a frame job, a yeah. good old fashioned frame job. Yeah, but even then he's not innocent. He's not innocent. No, no. He's not innocent. not by a long shot in a way. And then. The, the morality thing. He wasn't himself. He was being controlled. He was being manipulated. However, it, it still counts. Yeah. It still qualifies you for, for that, that you have to understand that. Uh, another thing, at the end of the second Captain America movie, the Winter Soldier starts to remember who he is. He starts to remember. He's trying to figure it out. Yeah. It's for you. But even then, you should have turned yourself in. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, because watch, watch the second movie, watch this movie, you should have just turned yourself in. There well, wouldn't be a movie, but. The thing about it is, he was trying to figure out who he was yeah. on his own. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but still. Yeah, so, I mean, I, it's a, such a weird thing because, like, you see uh, people come into blows over who's better, who's right, who's wrong. Yeah. And I'm like, it's just a movie. It's just a. It's just a. It's, yeah, it's just a. It's just a movie based on a comic book meant to sell toys and make lots of money, which yeah. it has done. But even then, th this thing, these things happen for real. This is also real life. These things really do happen. Yeah. And and and, and, and even then, when I'm watching this movie, at the end of the movie, I, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but at the end of the movie, when we, when naturally, when we see the big reveal. Right. Which was some, which was a really good surprise. That's a yeah. really good surprise. I'm feeling like Tony Stark now. Uh, sometimes I just want to punch you in your perfect teeth. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, yeah. Someone's about to get dealt with. Yeah. You're gonna deal with me, or I'm gonna deal with you. So. Well, that's, I, another thing that they did really good with this movie is that the range of emotions between what's right, and what's you know, who's right. right, who's wrong, who's yeah. is is back and forth. You you find yourself twitching sides. More so, I, I I was on one side the whole. I was on one side the whole time. Really, I I understand. I Captain America. I understand he's trying to protect. He, he's his friend. He's right. not himself. He's his friend. He wants to help his friend. I, I I respect that and I understand that. But even then, but even I still feel accountability, responsibility, and just plain stepping up. Not today. Not after breakfast. Right now. You know what was you know what's missing from this movie that I really think should have should have had a scene where Spider-Man reveals himself to the, to the world. Because he's on Tony's side. He's part of Tony's team. Yeah, I, I feel they'll, they'll save that for the standalone movie. <laughs> I guess so, but I mean, it was one of those things that was like, it should have, it should, because in the comic, mm -hmm. that's what he does. His, his Aunt May knows who he is and all that kind of stuff. I think, I also he think pulls gonna... a mask off in front of thousands of I, reporters. I, I, I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna go back to the classic secret identity. Yeah. Because that's always interesting to play on the silver screen. I think they're gonna go right back to that. Th will they will they do that? Probably because Tom Hans nineteen. That's a lot of years for sequels and so forth. They made they made Spider Man so young. 
his Aunt May is now a sexy, <laughs> sexy Aunt May. Marissa Tomei. Yeah. yeah, we had, I think, I think it was, Rose, was it Rosemary Rose, Harris? Was Rose the original Mary Aunt Harris. May. She was like 60 or 70s. Sally Field was in her 60s. But now, Marissa Tomei is like late 40s and she's still beautiful. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm like Tony Stark. If well, Pepper doesn't come back, you he's coming out with her. You can see where he, uh, where the influence of the Ultimate Universe. Yeah. You, and the Ultimate Universe, Aunt May is slightly younger. Yeah, they may, but now she's now. I think she's a body. She has been from grudge de-aged without special. <laughs> she's been de-aged and promoted and graduated to hottie. Now yeah. Aunt May, Aunt May. I mean, she, Granny Aunt May was like Granny Goodness. Now, now, now. Tony starts flirting with her. If he hadn't come home and Pepper's still gone, this might be. <laughs> this might have turned out a whole different. Deadpool. Book. <laughs> That's how I was going. It would have come yeah. home and found Aunt on May the couch, in bed. On, <laughs> on the couch. Aunt May, oh my god. What Mr. are you Stark, doing? I saw you on TV. Oh my god. What? Like, yeah, honestly though, six months, that means Ben Parker would have been dead six months. <laughs> That's so, probably why they didn't do it. That's probably why they didn't do it. I don't know. That's not fast enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's hey, you know I you know I uh, you got me you got me uh, that's probably why they didn't do that you got me yeah um, you got me <laughs> dead to rights yeah <laughs> all right well we're hitting the thirty minute mark okay and I think it's a good time to yeah come to a stop yeah my uh, name is Gary Moore and I'm Tony Junior the first gentleman this is our review of Captain America Civil War. And this is the more you know. And uh, check out my other videos. Check out the podcast. See you at the movies. And have a nice day.